So my aunt and Austin are working hard trying to get my one of my beds put together. We wanted to build back the herb bed. Matt wanted to use the metal. We thought about using, mostly we just wanted to use the metal. That's what it was. But we just can't get it done. We just got too many things going on with caring for Miss Cindy and uh, selling the cookbook like crazy, which is wonderful. What a wonderful blessing. Like I said, kind of the sweet along with the sad in one of our previous videos. Anyway, we decided we were just gonna have to buy another bed like what we used on the bank and put it there and use it as our bed. That's just what we're gonna do. So Austin and Matt's been putting it together and we're trying to beat the rain. There's a storm coming, but hopefully we can get it in place. That's what they're gonna work on now. Here's Katie. And I'm supervising. Yeah, Katie's supervising. <laughs> Miss Cindy was spending the day with us, but she got really tired. So Katie run her home. And now we're, hopefully we can get this done before the yeah. rain I'm, gets here. I'm gonna go put this down. I'm coming back out here to help. So okay. we can try to get it All done. All right. Looking good, boys. Yeah. But if you make one wrong move, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I thought Austin Austin's, out. Austin's <laughs> playing. <laughs> So I'm anxious, of course, to get it, get the herb bed back and have herbs to use this summer. But all the th wonderful things we bought from the Satterfields, they're still in the greenhouse. And they're just, I mean, it's only gonna be a matter of days okay. before they're just completely give up. Some of them are still in their little bitty container. Some of them most no bigger than this. And some of them are about three foot tall. So I know they're gonna be, feel really good to get, get out where they can uh, spread out their roots and grow continue to grow and then of course then we can we can start using them So that's going to be great too, especially the dill and the cilantro and the basil Those seem like the things that I love to run out the back door and come out here and get a handful and take them back in Whether I'm making supper or dinner or uh, even just a tasty snack So I'm excited uh, about those for sure, but all of them are going to be great especially if we can get kind of established back what we had in the other bed, our things like our lavender and our rosemary and um, oregano. And I think we bought some other things that'll kind of overwinter so that we can, they can just be there and we'll enjoy them. So now they're just trying to level it and then we'll start trying to, to fill it up with dirt and then we can plant in it. I think the only thing that survived our all the demolition work that happened didn't happen intentionally but because of what we were having done to the bank was oregano and some uh, yarrow and that was about it I think that's the only things that survived and we've moved those we moved them onto the bank so what they're doing now won't disturb anything hopefully we can put some of the oregano back in anything I can give moral support it ain't just rocks it's roots too Austin is confused. He thinks that he's supposed to be planted in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Not you, I'm joking. Yeah, I bet it's rocky and rooty and nasty over there. Katie, okay, you can help me. We can go get the stuff out of the greenhouse. You can help me do that. Let's do it. Okay, Let's do it. That's really not bad at all right there. I think where it gets to stay right there. Yep, I think that's pretty good. Y'all got a, uh, another shovel over here somewhere? Maybe one in the basement there? I don't remember where I saw the last, last one. Oh, it's down there at the basement, at the bottom of the steps. Okay. The, the porch steps. All right. We could put the dirt on top, put that in the bottom. I think that would work. That's the good thing, it's right here. Yeah. That's the only easy easy uh, thing you've had, right? Yeah. Grab a bag and start a shovel, is what Sophia Petrillo said. There's an episode about that where she's like, Oh, no. There's a hurricane. Good. I don't know if we're going to beat the storm or not. Right, awesome. Let me get this stick out. So some of them panels right there is y'all's. Okay. And some of them posts too. Okay. I figured once we, if I figure out what we're using of it and what's left, mm -hmm. just strap it right back down on the trailer and throw the posts on there. 
That's the easiest way to haul. You can't haul anything in the truck. Right. Just tuck the trailer to it and bring it over. Sure. That'll be just fine. No, oh, that's like stuck to my fork. I tried to sling it, but it sling. Trying to sling you some down, Austin. Slingshot, engage. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Austin. Go get some loads of compost too if you think I need to. I mean, of the chicken compost or mulch. I mean, it ain't gonna fill it all the way up. It'll probably get pretty close. Well, it depends on how full. Like, you, don't you don't have don't to have it, it up to the, yeah, don't have to. But then be. maybe it will get close. We just need more in the middle and more on this side right here, on Dad's side. That's in slow motion, that's why my side's a week. been seven days this week wide open, I'm tired. Oof. Sorry. My men's got home yesterday evening and I literally had just come in. I bet. You got a lot done though. Great old big roly poly oly who just went in there. Well, they're everywhere. Guess what? I just used my old blue jeans and cut them off and make these cut offs out of them. That's what I, I ain't got no blue jeans. I've got one pair of blue jeans all on. Yeah, I tell you something, it's not even fun to make these into shorts. They're still hot. You know what I mean? It's blue jean material. It's hot. It's just a little shorter, but. <laughs> That ball of compost there reminded me on the way home, I saw something, I was coming back around here and I saw something on the, in the road and I thought, what is that? It looks like a ball. And it was a dang groundhog that was all bowled up and I'm like, huh. dude, this is not a good place. Right. You yeah. really need to Four not find yourself here. Locations, dude. Yeah, I was like, please go somewhere, you know? you're gonna die. Oh, sorry. He was just balled up like, he was weird. I was like, dude, what are you doing? This is a bad place. Bring that water out there. Please. He looked like he was just having a good old time, too. He wasn't... Wasn't worried about anything. No, huh? he didn't seem to be concerned by the traffic or nothing. He was just like, wee! This is fun. We're gonna check the weather. It's close. I can feel it. Oh, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> On top of us. That rain, hard rain will compress it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I Now we just got to feel it. Right. This is one that little Quincy talk, talked me into getting hyssop. It's like, um, I don't, I know it can be eaten. It can be used medicinally and all that. It smells like licorice when you Ooh, chew on it. Like licorice. Yeah. And you can see, look at those poor roots. Look oh, at that. They don't got nowhere to go. No, they don't got nowhere to go. We better get them planted in here. Yeah. I'm going to break them go. up. There you go. You can go ahead and... Now we have it somewhere to sit, look, and it's going to rain and you're going to be happy. Little plants. <laughs> I can't even get this one out. Goodness. So, there's some kind of poor plants. 
Hopefully they'll still live. Oh, I think they will. Okay, two down, a few more to go. So what we got now, Mom, with that sage and rosemary. Yeah, I've got some rosemary here, and we'll put it over here. And this one. See what I like about the ease of using this compost is it's easy to dig you out a little place. It is. And it's not like digging into the hard ground to, oh, it to smells sit so your good, plants. Don't it? Mm. I don't That's done. And a lavender. Yeah. Let's put the lavender over here. Oh, I love lavender. I think this is a sage. I want to put it back there in the back. Okay. Put this sage back in the back. I think it'll like being in the back here. Hopefully it'll grow and straighten yeah. out. Yeah, maybe put it in this corner. Katie wants to put the put the basil right here. I think it could get big, you know, at, at one point the basil I was growing were they was more like basil trees. Yeah, it can be. They were big. big. Yeah. Basil sage hyssop rosemary lavender. What else we got? Deal? We put it in the back. Probably a good idea. Okay. Okay, and here's our deal. Wonderful for our pickles. I think it'll be a good idea to kind of put the deal in one corner because it may get tall. I don't think it would shade stuff too much, but. I hope it continues to grow. I could cut it. Usually I have good luck if I, as the season goes on, I cut the deal. Like if it gets too leggy and big, cut it back and it'll kind of start coming back out again for you. Of course it won't, it'll be gone. Uh, once cold weather gets here. Right. Although, used to, in my other herb, herb bed, herb, I call them herbs. <laughs> Corey and Katie and Matt laugh at me. Um, it reseeded itself, so it would come back each year. It did, yeah. Okay. That looks good. Okay, maybe we're gonna beat the rain. I think so. So another thing that usually reseeds itself for me is cilantro. Mom loves love cilantro. It. Oh my gosh, she been Vesal. I'm the only person that likes it though. I don't like it. I never did like it. Actually, that's not cilantro. I'm like, that don't taste like cilantro. This one's parsley. Mom, now, ate the parsley. I just grabbed them both, but I like parsley too. Matt likes parsley, but this is the cilantro. I like parsley. Cilantro. <laughs> I was like, that don't taste like cilantro. It's a herb garden buffet, Mom. Well, that's the great thing about the Satterfields. They don't use any kind of poison or anything like that. So, and of course, we've not done nothing with them since we brought them back home. Yeah, so you feel safe to take a bite. Yeah. Nothing's going to happen. Put the parsley. It's going to look so good after this gets rained on, and it's going to help these plants. Yeah, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so this will be great. We've got more lavender, and what's more, this is another rosemary. Okay. Big Put him next to his rose, yeah. his buddy. Together. I'd say you get in between the beds and that. Yeah. And the this is more lavender, you said? Yeah. We'll put that in there, too. They probably are saying, hallelujah, lady, you let me out. Probably. So it's becoming full. We're getting some stuff in here. I've never uh, planted lemongrass before. Miss Cindy always grew it, so we used some of hers, but little Quincy talked me into this, so I'm going to plant it. I have harvested some lemongrass from her house to make tea out of it. It's really good. Well, it's hopefully you can use some of this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have some that I've dried. Would well, you want to put it maybe? I think we should put it over here next to the basil. Okay. And you know what I need? I need more of my lemon balm. Huh? Where at? Over here. Um, anywhere. Maybe next to it. I'd say they're going to go absolutely nuts from 
our lemon balm, yeah, got crushed. I did bring some seeds out, and I planted yeah, some, but my lemon balm yeah. never come up that I planted. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're going to trade, and Katie's going to plant some for me. So Katie's going to do the chamomile. She's going two chamomiles here. I never have good luck with chamomile, but maybe this will be the year. A lot of people say that it reseeds for them, but I've never been able to get it to do that. It might help it being in this raised bed, might drain better or not stay so damp. So we'll see. If I can get it. It's not gonna come out. Actually, that's not chamomile either. Lord, that? Lord, we're terrible today. That's not, that's like anise. This one is chamomile though. I was wondering this looked kind yeah, of. Yeah, I was looking at those little stems thinking, now, I ain't never seen no chamomile look like that. That's, that's another licorice type plant. That little Quincy talked me into. He's the best salesman ever. <laughs> he is. Okay, in. so this one is the chamomile, though. Come here, little plant. I may have dug a little bit deep of a hole for you. Mm -hmm. Fill it back in. Like you said, that's the good thing about doing it in such loose soil. Yeah. looks good so we got chamomile in here we got the anise and that looks good what else do we got so the next thing katie's gonna plant we can never get enough of um green onions so she's gonna make some little rows over there and plant some green onions we plant them um at least three or four times in succession. So we've been eating the first ones. The second ones are getting pretty much ready to eat. Now Katie's gonna start us some more. Some of those are, if they're, t if they're totally feel gushy, or like, actually they don't get gushy. They, uh, well that one, yeah, I'd throw that one out. But they usually just, if there's, like sometimes they'll dry, throw that one out, dry up until they're pulling, there's nothing in there. But it's like, even if they're out, even if ones. they're sprouted, that's fine. Just push push them down in there. It's easy planting, ain't it? Oh yeah. Compared to our rocky stuff that we're usually planting. Oh yeah. This is easy planting. Some of these are going down to the metal bars in here, but that's okay. I think that'll be okay, don't you? Yeah. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to throw it down. That bag's just because we've had it a while. It's another thing we should have planted already. There ain't a whole lot of good ones in here. Well, dump them out. Plant them even if, you know, if they don't come up, they're enriching the soil anyway, so just plant them. We're either composting or we're growing onions, one or yeah. the other. We're not really sure at this point. That one right there will come up. That one will probably come up. We're going to put him in there for good measure. I'm just kind of sticking a few extra in around the edge. Okay. That'll work. Put them on 425, Corey. Um, I have to have it at 450 for my five. Well, that'll work. All right, I think that's probably pretty good. Well, plant them all. Oh, okay. Yeah, plant them all. Let's be done with it. Down in there. There you go. Easy way. Get them out. <laughs> what? As you throw the bag in the yard. Oh, well, Mama, I'll pick that up. 
You just plant now. Mama, you told me to plant. I know. Didn't you? I did. You handle it. We'll have a... I'm going to go... Have an onion over forest there. over there. We're going to have an onion forest. That's, that is what's... I'm running out of places to put them anyway. Yeah. That's what's going on. Put I mean, some I over get... there between the parsley and the cilantro if you want to. Can you plant with Katie? It's a, it's an experiment with Katie. Yeah, there's you never no, know what's gonna happen. There's no rhyme or reason for Katie. People are gonna know you're gonna get some comments. People are gonna be like, "This girl don't know how to plant." You watch, y'all. I'm gonna have an onion forest. You'll be fine. Some of these is just like the shell part. They ain't even nothing in there. Yeah, that. I don't worry about them. Okay, one more thing you want to plant for me? Yes. Maybe come over here somewhere or wherever you want to. You're putting them all around. Good job. Those would be great. <laughs> Is there some lemon balm? I plant all that because the when I planted it earlier, it didn't come up. So it's either good or not good. But so right you don't now. have just barely a little bit. Yeah, you don't need to do much because it's such tiny little seeds. Yeah. And then just gently sprinkle a little over it. You might not even have to since it's going to rain. That's plenty. Okay, either it'll come up or it won't. Well, how much is in there? No, I wouldn't plant all that. Katie's going to plant us a little bit more basil. It's a different type. There you go. So we finished. We managed to do it before the storm got here, before the rain come. I think it looks great. It's going to be really nice. And I know those plants are so happy to be out of those little containers where they can actually stretch out. I'm glad Katie helped me get those onions planted. Those will be great. Hopefully that lemon balm will come up too. We may have to trim back some of the cilantro and even the parsley and the dill just to get it to flush back out again. But I'm so relieved to have it all planted. So I've got these wildflower mixes. I was talking about wanting to put some of them up there on the bank around those beds. Okay. This is what's supposed to be a hummingbird mix and it's supposed to be a shade mixture. Okay. I've got some canterbury bells and these are supposed to be um, a mixed color columbine. I really want to grow one that's red. Yeah, we might ought to wait on the, it's kind of columbine season's over for okay. here. So you might want to save that one for next spring. I thought that we were supposed to, I don't know what I thought, don't worry. You could probably plant them in the fall and then they'd come back. Okay, But they're in spring, that. mine are about quit, quit blooming. There's an ant in there, get out buddy, no thanks. So I got those, the wildflowers can go up there. I'm, I think these would be pretty. Yeah. And there may be, hold on, let me look. Um, I've got some, um, these are pretty bachelor buttons. And I really oh, I love, love those. I've tried to grow those. We call those, like a lot of people around spider here call flowers. them spider plant, yeah, or spider flower. Mm -hmm. And I've had them at different times over the years, but they never, for other people, they'll just like kind of take over and they just never do for me. Granny can. I've seen yeah, granny take over. Those, those are pretty. I don't know about more than glories if that's the wrong time. No, it's probably all right. And then I've got carnations and I love this little butterfly flower. Yeah. So okay. we just got to find, I needed to, I do think it's too late for these. I should have already planted these um, for uh, the passion flower. Yeah. Because mine's done coming up. I mean, you I guess. You could probably try one or two and see what happens. I'll try a few. Okay. okay. Sounds like a then. plan. So Katie's going to put her passion flower, wild apricot, we call it, or Pap called it. She's going to put it right here. This is a different color than we've ever seen it's before. It's supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, so I'm we'll hoping. see. I wonder, is it edible also like oh, yeah. the other? Okay. Oh, yeah. Put you two or three there. Boy, those are big old seeds oh, compared yeah. to those others. No, the other ones are pretty Are they big. pretty big too? That's good. And that way we'll remember if it comes up right there. I want to put a few on this side too. Okay. These are supposed to be, it's supposed to be a variety mix. So I don't exactly know, you know, it's possible that I could grow some that look like what I've got, but they could be different well, too. Plant a few and then we'll see. Oh, I'm praying over them, Lord, I want them to grow. I'd be so excited to have a different color, something different for the bees to pollinate and then get to see something mm -hmm. different. I'm praying they're growing. Let's say my prayers over these. Okay. 
Katie's gonna plant our wildflower seeds up here. Oh, look, growing in that. I was like, why is there something growing in that? I've not put nothing in that. I bet I put compost and that's a potato. That I can tell from potato. here, it's a potato. Probably some potato peels and now they're growing. That's <laughs> awesome. That ain't the best soil ever, Katie, but you might just pull back the mulch and plant them. Yeah, I can see you've got some other potatoes sprouting here. Do I? Little taters. Granny likes to save her potato peels and take them out and put them in her flower bed and grow her little, two or three little potatoes. They don't produce like um, seed potatoes do, but they do pretty good. What does that look like right there, Katie? A weed? Where? This? Yeah. It looks like a tiny baby hosta. It does look like a tiny baby hosta. Pretty hostel. sure it is. It's the best place for it, but... No good up here. I know. They may not grow. Well, you can... I, I don't know. You want to take some down in front of the house and put some down there? Yeah. I'll put a little more right here. I just thought it might be nice to have something up here on this thing. Oh, it would be. I'm yeah. going to put... I want to put and some of these. You missed one little piece of paper there. Oh, oops. What are you going to put? I'm going to put a little bit in front of this one right there. Okay. Those are two tiny baby hosses. Mama, them hosses, when they're little, are about the cutest thing I've I ever know, seen. I know, but then they they're, get gigantic. They're precious. All the irises I planted on this bank and the I see some yarrow down there, they're all living and doing good. That is a weed right there. That project kind of got stopped, too. I think I made it three beds. I got three of them. But this is by far the best one. That looks like it's taken hold. Where the irises are taking hold. Oh, hello. You are the funniest looking worm I've ever seen, and you're about to be a dead one. No, don't kill the worm. Just leave it. What if it eats our garden? Oh, that green one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a horn worm. Yes. T feed him to the chickens. Mama, he or do away with him, whichever. Mama, he ain't just green. He's blue. Look at him. Yeah. Well, stay there, buddy. Hold on. I'm kind of busy. All right. Okay, now we'll go up front and you can plant some up there. Okay, okay I planted some stuff here just a little while ago. So what have you got? Um, would you tell me where not to plant? Well, I mean, but what plant have you got? Like I mean, right I in got, here would be a good place. I, I didn't got the plant. wildflower plants. I didn't plant right there. Right there would be good. This anemone's, oh. anemone's taking over. It's really pretty. It's like September charm, so it blooms in September, and it's beautiful because it's the only thing blooming. But man, right it's took over. Yep, that's good. It will take over. Yep. Lord, I've still got so many of these. Left. Okay. What is these? Are these poppies or those marigolds? No, ones? those are. Uh, Cosmos. Oh, look. I didn't even see that. Yeah, that was pretty. You can dig up those. Yeah, those are just violets. So you can see right here, Katie, is my columbines, and they're yeah, they're, they're pretty. They're done this time of the year. Yeah, dig those little violets up. They take over too if you want to. Get up out of there. I just put the rest of it. Okay. And now I've got what's left of this mix here. Okay. Dig some more of those yeah, irises up. Um, or not, I keep calling them irises, I mean violets. Those are, those are all violets right there. Just dig them up. This is funny. What? This is funny. You think me how I'm planting is funny? Yeah, this is quite a bit for one hold. That's okay. I'm wanting this over. I know, you're getting tired. I'm getting so. tired. But also, I just, I really want them to grow. And I, I, want, them, I want them to grow together like a great big, pretty big bundle. I think they will. Look here at this. 
These are my Egyptian walking onions. They'll start walking. Ain't that funny? Look right here. This one already is. See? I love that. So see that one's. That's cool. How it's this one will walk up, fall off, and then they walk and spread. There's That's a big awesome. blackberry briar right in the middle of them. I need to pull up. Cool. Here's a perfect example. They get heavy because of that, and then see they fall over and then they start growing again. That's why they're called walking onions. They and they're walk. tasty, they're good. I think it is, I think, I think the this, bad weather's think rolling the in. storm's coming in, but we managed to get it done with Austin's help and Katie's help. Matt's went in, he's gonna make us some steaks for supper, all of us. And so they've done, went inside. Corey's in there making us a delicious blueberry pie. It's gonna be delicious and me and Katie Managed to even along with the herb bed, we got some of Katie's flowers planted that she wanted to plant. So we're super excited about that. I'm so stoked. Yeah, and happy to get it all done before the rain gets here too. So I know the rain will be really good on the on the seeds, and we won't even have to wor water the herbs that we planted. So nope. a win-win. We're not gonna have to water anything. Yeah. So one more step in the process of making a garden for our family here in the mountains of Appalachia. And also, beauty's part of it, though. All those flowers. We're crazy about flowers, aren't we, Katie? We are crazy about flowers. I love flowers. Yeah. And we thank you for visiting with us. I got the wind behind us. Can you believe how those ivies have bloomed in the last, like, two days? I know. Isn't that beautiful? I know. I think this wind beautiful? Yeah, but I don't like storms. Oh, it ain't gonna storm. I'm scared. It ain't gonna storm bad. Are you granny? I don't know, I've just always been scared of storms. I don't think it's that I'm scared. I think what it is is I, I know what Mother Nature's capable of and she's a force to be reckoned with. Well, that's true, for sure. I think that's what my fear is. And the, the fear too with the weather stuff is, is you can't stop it. There's nothing you can possibly do to change or stop the weather. And so it's like if it was to be really bad or Nader comes through or some terrible, something like that. But Naders don't usually come here. Yeah, but you know, there are once in a lifetime Naders. It's just an amazing power in the wind. Think about where it started and it come to here. I know it's insane. It started like hundreds of miles from here and then it's like boom here. And it's going on past us hundreds of miles. Gosh, look at that skinny tall pine tree. <laughs> that one. It's pitiful. Look at it. Look how tall it is. I know. It looks like I do brush with limbs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We ready to go eat? I'm ready to go eat. I'm ready to go in. My head hurts. I'm I need sorry. some. Uh, Ibuprofs. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. You're welcome. I love You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. I'm, I'm saying the part for you. Thank you. It's been a good You're Mother's welcome. Day. It has. I'm telling you earlier in church and all the mothers were getting their flowers, I was like, you start crying. You better take it down a notch. I was about to have to leave because I uh -oh. felt like I was about to start doing the ugly crying. I was just getting so wound up. Because <laughs> you love all of them. I know. I just was like, what would we do? Well, what would we do without the mamas? And you just don't even think about it. But I'm like, who do you go to when you got a problem? When you got a boo-boo? When you need something to eat? When you need your clothes washed? When you need to know something? Who do you go to? Mm -hmm. The mamas. That's who you go to. You ask your aunt. You ask your mama. You ask your grandma. You ask somebody else's grandma. Yeah, somebody some else's mama. mama at church, right? Yeah. I was like, but mostly I thought, you know what? One day I want to be standing up there and people looking at me like no. that. Thinking, Katie knows. And I'm like, <laughs> Katie don't know much, but I want to fool somebody into thinking no, I do. You know a lot. You do good. And someday you'll be a good mama. It really was nice. It was a beautiful service. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And the food. It was just a great time. It just yeah. really was a nice time. breakfast time. was good. Y'all did good. It was nice, and now we're gonna have all this beautiful, wonderful rain on what we planted. Mm -hmm. I'm just so excited. There's just something so special about thinking about something and planting and planting it and then watching it grow. It's just- You've caught the growing bug from me. It's wonderful. I've it's always beautiful. loved. Yeah, I know you have. And you I just you get- grew watermelons one time? How yeah, much I you like I grew a big, bad, mean watermelon uh, patch. You remember when Corey was like in, y'all were in kindergarten because Miss Reeves was her teacher and she brought home uh, sunflower seeds. And she grew them. Somewhere I've got a picture of her standing there like Aww. with her little sunflower. Miss Reeves sent them home. So yeah, y'all always like to grow. I just all the years of helping Pap and love it. Granny in their garden and helping us. Well it rubbed off. 
and like with the poppy so like when i found first found that one flower that turned out to be a poppy and i didn't know what it was and i think it receded itself from that bloom on that cactus that we threw out of Corey's. i was just like so excited i'd never seen anything like that so then i collected the seeds and i planted them not last year but the but no did i plant them last year i think you tried last i think year. i planted them I tried to plant them last year but they didn't come up and i was just like so disappointed and then one come up only one out of all the ones i've planted and it come off come up way away from where i planted it like off the bank like i wouldn't have planted them off the bank mm -hmm. because i wouldn't be able to see them down there and i was so excited and i took a picture and i was like literally the next day i was like i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna collect these seeds and i come back the next day and it was gone down not even the stem and now i think i know the culprits were the deer i think they ate it oh, because it was just totally gone so then i was disappointed because i thought i'm not going to get to collect any more seeds and what if no more grow you know and then i'm not ever going to get to get any more seeds well what I'm seeing this year, that funny lettuce looking cactus leaf, that's got to be them because that's the leaves that grew on that original vine. And the other times that I've planted poppies, they don't look anything like that. No, Instead of this, they look like almost like how marigolds or how the, what did you call them, the cosmos look? Yeah. Like little thin, but these yeah. look like leaves of lettuce, that great old big thick, like I think clumped out. So we'll see. And if it is, you've got several this year. And you better, by goodness, no matter what happens if i have to get out here at night i will get the seeds yeah. i think they're coming and they're in the same places as i planted them last year so maybe it took two years to i come think up. it took two years to come up and that might mean the ones that i planted this year i ordered those from baker creek seeds the other special yeah. variety might be the might come year. up next year but i, I think those have got to be it because they're now that i think about it yeah, they're they in the same place like the same. Yeah. and that's what their leaves are what made us think it come from the cactus yeah because of that funky of pointed yeah. kind of yeah just kind of crazy told us we were i mean told us no it was a poppy and then we found out it was a poppy it's how we found out but i still think that they they had somebody had crossed that that poppy with the cactus to get that pink bloom I don't know well because why, why why I i'm not know. growing a cactus oh. out there am i and the no. bloom was on the cactus no, i don't know i've got my flashlight on somehow how'd that happen i don't know I'm going to come down here and look in one more place for these poppy looking things that I planted okay. last year. All right, well, let's go. we got to go. Let's roll.